Manual Album Creation. Select the category and a size that's required and define the number of pages of your album. Now double clicking on size will lead you to manual album creation or select the manual option from here. Your blank album with the blank pages can be seen in the design album window. Before you start with actual designing, you can set the interface layout to your convenience. Either use the available layout option in preferences or set the layout manually by just dragging and dropping the panels. Using the layout from preferences will ask you to restart the software to implement the changes. With the view button you can view or hide the tabs that you don't want to use. Now go to the full screen mode from here and from the view button show or hide tabs like this. Now let's start with actual designing. Start by designing the cover page. Go to the background tab. Here we have several innovative collections of backgrounds. Or you can also browse and use your own backgrounds. Zoom in a background thumbnail for a better, larger view from here. Apply a background onto the page. Uncheck the Fit to Size checkbox to expand the background on the canvas area. The Ready Tone automatically generates 18 ready to use backgrounds. To insert the photo, you'll need to go to the Photo tab. Here, you can browse your photos. Your photos will appear like this. Zoom in thumbnails for a better, larger view. Use the Sort By option to sort your photos, either by date, modified time, name, size, type, orientation, used also in ascending and descending order. Apply the desired photo, unlock the photo and place it anywhere onto the page, and resize it. Zoom in the photo by scrolling the mouse wheel and pan the photo like this. Choose from a variety of borders available in the Border tab or browse and use your own borders. Select the photo to apply the border onto it. Choose from the Ready Tone button from here. Album Express automatically generates 18 ready to use tones. Just click on it and use it. Use the Reset button to reset the Ready Tone border. If you want to rotate the borders, then click on the 90, 180 or 270 degree button. You can also flip borders horizontally or vertically. The Reset button will remove the borders from the photo. You can insert a title from the Title tab and place it anywhere on the page. If you want to change the title font type, and the size of the title, you can change it from here. You can also make your title bold, italic or underline. From here, you can align your title left, center or right. To change the color of the title, select the color from the color palette. To make your title more attractive, you can use the ready to use presets preloaded by DigiFlick. All you gotta do is double click on the preset you wanna apply. With the Color Picker tool, you can select any color from the screen. Select the title and the photo and select the Object Base Alignment tab. Under this, we have several options to align the objects. Here, we'll use the Horizontal Center option. You can also use the other options of the Object Base Alignment tab. To insert a shape, go to the Shape tab. Here, you'll get various types of simple and designed shapes. Zoom in or zoom out the shape thumbnails from the adjust thumbnails. Select a shape and double click on it. Or drag and drop the shape to apply. Place the shape anywhere onto the page. You can resize it as per your need. With the customize option, fill color into the shape by clicking on the fill shape checkbox. With the color picker, apply any color from the whole screen or select a color from the color palette. Adjust the opacity of the colored shape from here. To place the photos over the shape, go to the Photo tab and double click on the desired photo and place it over the shape like this. Resize the photo like this. Now insert two or more photos. Say here, yeah. select these three photos and click onto the Equal Size tab and you'll get Equal Width, Equal Height 
and equal size options. In this way, you can equalize your two or more photos quite easily. Adjust your photos like this. Say here, select the photos and go to the Equal Spacing tab. Use the Vertical Equal Spacing option. Similarly, you can use the Horizontal Equal Spacing option. Swap your photos by selecting two photos and using the Swap icon. From the Effects tab, you can apply several effects onto the photo. Effects tab is further classified into Colorize, Blur, Opacity, Feather, Shadow, Glow, Outline, Rotation, Presets and Blends. Under Blend option, you have multiple blend options. Select the photos and apply outlines to the photo. Customize the outline by clicking on the Custom button. Click on the Reset button to reset the outline. From the Opacity option, apply Opacity effect to the photo. From the Custom option, customize the opacity. Click on the Reset button to reset the opacity. Except Preset and Blend, you'll get the Custom option in all the effects. Your cover page gets created like this. By selecting the Show and Hide Margin button, you can switch on and off the safe area. Navigate the page from here. Say here, we'll select a new page and from the Background tab, apply a background onto the page. You can also set your photo as a background from the Photo tab. All you gotta do is select the photo and click on the Set as Background. To apply mask, go to the Mask tab. Here, several masks are made available in Album Express. Or, you can also browse and use your own mask. Zoom in and zoom out of thumbnails from the Adjust thumbnail. Select the photo and double click on the required mask. Or, just drag and drop the mask to apply onto the photo. If you want to rotate the mask, then click on the 90 degree, 180 degree, or 270 degree button. You can also flip the mask horizontally or vertically. Use the reset button to remove the mask. Say here, we insert two photos from the Photo tab. Now select them and go to the Page Base Alignment tab. In this tab, we have several options to align the objects as per the page. Similarly, you can use the other options of the Page Base Alignment tab. Now select this photo and apply a mask onto it from the Mask tab. From the Effects tab, apply Colorize and Shadow effects to the photo. If you want to apply the same effect to the adjacent photo, just right click on the photo and click on the Copy Effect option. Now, select an adjacent photo, right click on that photo and select the Paste Effect option. Insert one or more photos and apply Mask onto it. And you can also freely transform the mask very easily to fit perfectly according to your photo. Now apply Colorize and Feather effects onto it. Now go to the Clip Art tab to use the innovative Clip Art collection, preloaded by DigiFlick. Or you can also browse and use your own Clip Arts. You can zoom in or zoom out Clip Art thumbnails from the Adjust thumbnail. Just double click on the Clip Art or drag and drop the Clip Art you want to apply. You can place the Clip Art anywhere on the page and resize it as per your need. Now click on the Ready Tone button. Here, for each clip art, Album Express automatically generates 18 ready to use tones. To insert, just double click on the desired one. Or use the Reset button to reset the ready tone. And your page will get designed like this. Now, here, we'll navigate the page and go to a new page. And from the Background tab, apply a background onto the page. You can apply different backgrounds on the left and right pages respectively. To apply the background onto the right page, select the Right Page option. Insert a solid color into the background with the Color Picker tool. Insert a photo from the Photo tab. And rotate the photo from the Rotate Objects tab. You can rotate your photo by 90 or 270 degrees. You can also flip your photos horizontally or vertically from the horizontal and vertical flip option. From here, you can do image rotation. 
select the Reset button to reset the image rotation. Now go to the Effects tab. Give the Colorize and Outline effects to the photo. Now insert one or more photos and rotate the photo like this. Give an outline effect to the photo. Insert the shape from the Shape tab and rotate it like this. Insert one or more shapes. Select these shapes and align it to the photo with the help of the Arrange Object tab. Now go to the Text tab to insert multiple lines into the album page. Place it on your desired location. To change the font size, select the text like this and from the font size list box, change the size of the text. Similarly, change the font. From here, you can make the font bold, italic or underlined. Align your text from here. Change the color of the text from the color palette. Select any color and click on OK. Now on a new page, go to the background tab. To apply the background onto the full page, click on the left right page option. Give color to the background and select the color from the color palette. Now insert a photo from the photo tab and resize it. Give an outline to the photo. Use the blend option. Say here, we'll use the overlay option. Now insert one or more photos. Give an outline to it. Also give effects like hard light from the blend option. Insert a shape and select the shape and photo and click on to the group tab. In that, select the group option. To reset the changes done, use the undo button or the redo button. Now go on to a new page and go to the template tab. To apply the template onto the right page, click on the right page option and double click on the template or drag and drop the template you wish to apply. Now right click on the template applied and go to the flip option. Say here, we'll use the horizontal option. Now drag and drop this template. Insert photos from the photo tab and do panning like this. Now click on the album tab and you'll see your album created. Use the show or hide grid line button to insert grid lines onto the page. Use the show or hide center line button to equally divide your page. Zoom in your page with the zoom in button. Zoom out your page with the zoom out button. See your page in actual size with the actual size button. Fit your page into the screen by selecting the fit to screen button. Go to the full screen mode by clicking on the full screen button. By clicking on the ruler, insert grid lines. Drag the grid lines by left clicking on it and moving it anywhere required. Delete the grid lines by selecting them and pressing the delete button. Now go to the My Album tab. Click on the Number of Pages list box. From here, you can add pages to your album. Select the number of pages to be added. And from here, you see the number of pages added. You can also delete the album pages from the Number of Pages list box.